Hello YouTube, Jaden 2005 here with a review of the Tokume Sentai Go Busters Buster Machine Series SJ05 Stag Beetle, the mecha belonging to Stag Buster. So here is his box, and we see it says Boost Up for Buster. Beat and Stag or Buster right there. Buster Machine SJ05 Stag Beetle, and then in English, two modes right here. We see the Stag Beetle mode and uh, the <coughs> Buster Machine Jet Mode and the Buster Animal Mode. Go Busters logo there. Um, the logo, the the uh, the Stag Beetle, the two of them. Down here we see you know, the two modes. Here again, on the side, two modes, because they just keep whoring that. And then combining uh, with Go Buster Beat to make Buster Hercules, or Heracles, or however they want to pronounce it, because technically it's all the same thing. It's the same name, just... Uh, different way of spelling it. So uh, on the back, we see that we can combine it with GoBuster Ace to make a uh, GoBuster Ace uh, Stag Custom. Uh, combine like we just showed to make um, Buster Hercules, and then if we combine Buster Hercules with GoBuster O, we get Great GoBuster. So we will attempt uh, to do all of that in this one review. So let's get my Stag plane in here. So here it is. Um, I put it all together already. <clears throat> Buster Machine SJ05 Stag Beetle. So it's like this Starscream esque jet. This piece comes separate. You just snap it into here. And this piece also is separate and it just plugs into the back. So bam. And bam. Is it? No. There we go. Bam. Okay. Um, we can see the wings and the, the cockpit, all that fun stuff. Um, in this mode it can sit, you can see this groove here, so it will sit, um, on the crane arm of, uh, Go Buster Beat, which I actually, let's see, let me get Go Buster Beat, I don't have him in crane mode, but I'm just gonna pull out the crane arm right here, and you see it can... If I actually make it a little sturdier so it doesn't bend on me, it will sit in that groove and slide. So let's give Go Buster Beat his arms back so we can, there we go, make Buster Hercules in a bit, put him right there. And now we will turn it into um, Buster Animal SJ05 Stag Beetle. To do that, we're going to fold the cockpit all the way up and we're going to push it all the way in so it hits this button which will automatically fold out the stag horns uh, we're then going to take this black piece here on each side and fold them out that will make beetle legs we can see the other beetle legs are right here and then if we just fold that up that's basically it you know we have the entirety um, of the stag beetle <coughs> right there uh, not much else to it, but, you know, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I like it. It's Stag Beetle, so, uh, it goes with the, uh, what do you, what do you call it? I guess Hercules Beetle or Kabuto Beetle that, uh, Go Buster Beat was. So let's turn this back into, uh, the plane. To do that, we're going to do the whole thing in reverse. Fold down the wings, fold these back. This button right here will release the cockpit. We can fold that down, and then we can fold these back to click it, and we get a plane. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, Ace, and we're just going to do Go Buster Ace um, Stag Custom. So here's Go Buster Ace. Remember him. He waves hi. Right? Hi. Okay, so we're going to take his arm, and we're just going to fold it back like this, and we're going to ditch the sword. Like that. So... There we have it. Now, for uh, the stag jet, we're just going to um, fold these out. Right, let's move them to the side so I can put this in frame. Um, pull this piece off in the back as is. Pull the jet apart and click it back together. Just uh, like that. And do we, uh, yeah, we need to fold out the legs. For whatever reason. So fold these out. 
Okay, now we're going to take this piece and click that one out. That's going to plug in to Ace's arm. Oh, wait, and we got to fold the wings up. I forgot. We got to basically make it into a beetle. I forgot to fold the wings. Otherwise, those pieces will get in the way. So we fold that up. Now he's got this giant stag beetle arm, which looks a little funny. Uh, this piece here is just going to get held in his hand like a gun. There. An oversized gun. And we make sure his foot's out so he stands. Then on the back, we're going to go ahead and plug this in such that the horns face down. And those that would just plug in on his back right there. And we'll try to not knock that off. Come on, click back in. Click. There we go. So here we have Go Buster Ace Stag Custom. <coughs> um, it's okay. I think it looks a little funny um, because of scaling wise with the mecha. But it is cool that, you know, um, Jay can combine his plane independently of Masato with Go Buster Ace and do that separate. So let's take that apart. We're going to go ahead and bring in uh, Go Buster Beat for Buster Hercules next. So here's this piece. Here is there we go. This piece and this back piece. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this into two pieces. This take Go Buster Ace, move him out of the way for now, and we're going to bring Buster uh, Go Buster Beat. I would keep getting names backwards. Go Buster Beat, I need to find a place to put Ace back into frame. So here's Go Buster Beat, before I say the name wrong again. Um, <coughs> they're going to be pals. Uh, basically, we're going to do a lot of the same things that we did with Ace. So this piece is going to, instead of holding it here, it's just going to stick this piece into the hand. Uh, so we still have this gun uh, thing. We're going to fold this peg down. This was, remember, in um, crane mode, what held the crane on. And we're going to plug this in to it like that. Um, we also need to fold this up like this. There is another face under there. Um, no, the horn's got to stay up. Yeah, the horn stays up. Let's fold these up. There we go. So you can see, if you can see it well, there's another face there. We folded that up. Um, this piece is going to get stuck back here on his butt, um, if I can get the peg on the right spot, if I can get the peg on the right, there we go, and finally, we will take, go, uh, the, go, Okay, we had to fold them up, my bad. I folded them backwards, <laughs> like a stupid. And it would just wrap around his arm in that spot right there. And so we have Buster Hercules, kind of like this. Again, like with the Stag Custom on Go Buster Ace, the scaling makes it feel really, really weird. Um, but... You know, I guess it's okay. I like, I do like that they can combine together. It's just that it does feel a little out of scale. Um, so I'm gonna take these apart and put together uh, Go Buster uh, O, and then we will come right back with that. Okay, so I have Go Buster O here. He's huge. We're gonna put him on the side for right now. I need to get. We need to we need to get the stag and Go Buster beat ready uh, for the combination. So we're going to start that off. Where is uh, Go Buster Beat? We're going to pull him apart and I probably should have started with him as a crane. But that's okay. So we're going to have uh, this piece right here of him, right? Then we're going to have Let's see. 
what's the easiest way? Pull, pull this off. Pull. Oops, that came apart. Pull this off. Let's put that back together. Okay, and we'll open those up. We're gonna have to open them up anyway. May as well do it now. So let's slide these legs back in and pull it apart. Okay, so these are gonna be your legs for Great Go Buster <coughs> and whatnot. So, um, where's my stag? I need. This piece is obviously the helmet piece. Uh, this piece is going to stay this way. Um, the crane arm, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it for the moment. It is going to attach uh, to the sword. So we're going to stick that aside for the moment. Um, well, oh, stag jet is right in front of me. Derp. So we're going to pull it completely apart here. Um, we can see hands here. So these are going to turn into your great go buster hands and we fold I just folded the wings up real fast you probably didn't even see it um, so they look something like this okay so where do we want to start Let's start with pulling apart Go Buster O. We're going to pull the arms off. Right, we got this. And I'm pulling the other arm off here. And we're going to pull the face off. And uh, the. Where'd the rabbit arm? The, 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 I pulled his helmet off. And then this rabbit arm, the propeller has to come off. Okay, so Go Buster O. And, oh, and Gorosaki has to come out of the chest. So GoBuster O is now ready to come into frame. Right here. Right in the middle of everybody. This is going to quickly uh, not end well at all. But that's fine. These are the things that happen. So, um, we have to fold the hands in on here and fold this one in over here do, 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 do. and fold out the propeller right because that's going to end up going on this piece and let's go ahead and stick these feet onto him so let's move some of this out of the way so we can get a good idea of what we're doing now, counter to what you would think, the wheels do not go on the bottom. Um, in fact, this will be the bottom. There are plugs down here, and those are going to sit right in there. You can see uh, the peg and the, the piece right there. So we're going to... See, this one goes on this side. We're just lining them up. There. And... If I can line up this one, we can have two feet. And waiting for that snap. There we go. Oh. Come on, the other one snapped in. There we go. Alright, so now we've made him even taller. Hooray for tall. So what uh, we want to do with that? Okay, we're gonna actually we need to put. What the hell? Why do these things keep popping off? I think I put it on backwards. That's why it pops back off. No, I'm folding it backwards. That's why. Go ahead and put put these back on. I screwed up by taking them off. So we'll put them on with uh, those blades facing up like this and now we're ready so we can see I need to get way up here we can't even see his face at the moment but that's okay that's okay let's um let's plug the stag arms in so we find a stag arm and we'll plug that in here All right we will take same port let's turn it 
can see it a little better. And we're going to plug his hand in. Right? There we go. And we'll do the same thing to the other one. So let me find where I put that arm. Because I've got a pile of parts, and that's never a good sign. Okay, so the arms are in. Now we're going to take this piece here, and we're going to connect the rabbit pieces to it. So here's a rabbit piece. <clears throat> right here. Let's try and center him a little more by where he was. Here's a rabbit piece. And here is a rabbit piece. Alright. So we're just going to plug these in. Where's my spot? Where is it? On to... Oh. It's the arm ports. That's right. I'm going to plug it in with the pieces facing each other, like this, put it facing forward, this is front, and then Gorosaki himself is going to plug in while the doggy barks. That was not, doggy barking was not in the instruction manual, but it happens. So... Let's see if we can get it in. There we go. So he's just going to sit in there. Something like this. We can see he's just kind of chilling. Chilling like a villain. And that's going to plug onto the back. Uh, this way. Let me make sure I turn it correctly or it won't plug in. Alright, so we now have this big old um, piece something like this right look at the little tiny face let's plug that helmet on because it's making me sad it's like the last step but the little tiny face makes me sad there we go that's better see that 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 makes us all happy we're going to plug this into the middle right so let's derp Doing this one-handed so you can hold the camera with the other is never easy. I think I need I think either a third arm or a camera person or something to hold the camera. One or the other. Why is it? Like, it is, am I like, retarded? Am I missing something? I mean, I know this piece goes in there, which is the, the, um, the bunny... I think I turned that wrong direction, but it's the bunny, um, what are the, propeller. I'm like, what is the word, the spinny thing on a helicopter? You plug the spinny thing in there, no, I had it right the first time. This has to face this way. And it should plug in if I turn it the right direction, it plugs in. You have to turn it with this piece on top. I am clearly a stupid. So we have like this kind of motion here, right? So far, there's very few pieces left, really. I think it's just the weapon. So we can take for one weapon, and we'll slide him back, and we will take the stag part, and we will stick this in this hand like a gun. And then, okay, now we got to put this whole ensemble together, if you will. So here's the crane, right? I think I've turned something around on it. I, that The whole thing with the crane arm baffles me, but that's just me. Um, this piece right here is how he's going to hold it. So that has to come out. Uh, we're then going to plug... Uh, the sword, here's the sword into this top piece, right, because it's not big enough as is, right, and I'm pretty sure the Go Buster logo goes on the outside, that's never really specified, I don't think, but I like it that way, because it makes more sense to me in my head, then we're going to take um, the helmet from Go Buster O and plug it 
the direction that doesn't make me look stupid, we're going to plug it that way. There we go. Like this, onto the weapon. And then he's pretty much just going to hold it um, in his hand. The fact that the thing is crooked um, allows it to stand fairly upright when he holds it. So here, let me get the camera. <coughs> um, here is Great Go Buster. You also see Wild Tiger and Barnaby and you can see Uva and Kazali, but that's because of how big this is and I had to pull the camera back. So that's it's pretty impressive. Um, it's a really good size. Um, one thing that I really like about it is the fact that unlike with most of the Gokaiger combinations, um, we use all the parts. It's not like, you know, um, Go On or Gao Gokaio or Goju Gokaio or Kanzen Gokaio where we take all the things apart, take half the pieces, assemble them into something, and then toss the rest aside. We actually have every single part of all five mecha, right, put together in some way. And we can if we want, we can raise his arm, right? So he's shooting the gun a little bit, at least. Um, you know, all five parts of all five mecha, not all five parts, all the parts of all five mecha are right here. And I think it looks pretty decent. It's not as clustery as some of the other combinations, <coughs> but pretty good. So I can definitely recommend, obviously, the Stag Jet um, if you've already gotten... You know, at the very least, Go Buster Beat, um, they do sell them as a set together, like the Buster Hercules set. And if you have all four other machines, uh, definitely pick up the Stag Jet, or the set if you have the Go Buster O pieces. So, um, really like these guys. So, uh, until next time, check out the podcast, RazRangerRambles.com, bringing you the latest Tokun news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!